So in addition to the custom functions that you can create yourself, SAS also has some built-in functions. These, I've listed a whole bunch of them. I mean, this is not an exhaustive list. I will put a link in the description down below to the function page, and you can scroll through all of them. But I've got all the color functions here and some of the more useful mathematical functions. All right, I've defined two variables here at the top, color one and color two. I've set one to an HSLA color, one to a hex color. You can use either of these colors with all of these color functions. So alpha, hue, saturation, lightness. These will extract the color. Now this is the color portion, the hue portion of the color, the saturation portion of the color, the lightness portion of the color. There are also functions for red where you can pass in a color. So color one or color two, we could save that in a variable called red if we wanted, just like this. And then you can use these values. If you want to use them to make up part of another color, you can do that. If you want to do a calculation to figure out what background color you want to use, you can use all the different parts. So red, green, blue, lightness, saturation, and hue, and alpha. Those are the ones that will return to you that portion of the color. And what I'm doing down here is I'm writing out inside of a class called Rainbow in the content, the alpha, the hue, saturation, lightness. And let's add the red on there at the very end. So we've got that in there. And then if I jump over into my CSS file, there we are. So the red portion, that's a 64. And that would be the RGB, that's the decimal version. 43% was the lightness, I believe. Yeah, lightness, and then the saturation was the one in front of that. 37% is the saturation, 123 degrees is the hue, and 0 0.9, that is the alpha. So this is the output of this rainbow class, all these different color functions right here. This is the output that I'm getting from all of them. So let's take a look at those. Now, fade in and fade out. You want to make the color slightly, um, give it more opacity or less opacity, uh, change the alpha value for the color, then you can enter a value here from 0 to 1 and apply it to the color. So I want to fade in, so decreasing the transparency by this percent, 20%. This is increasing the transparency by 30%, fade out. So something that's fading in or fading out, you can understand that, I'm sure. Adjust the hue. So on the color wheel, I want to change by 30 degrees or do negative values as well. So I'm adjusting the hue by negative 30 degrees. That's going to give me from color one, which was this HSL. So we've got the 123 was the degrees. And the third one here, I think that's what it was, number three. Yeah, one, two, three, negative 30 degrees on the hue. So we've changed that. Uh, let's make this. There, I've split it and I'm going to widen this so we can see them both at the same time. There we are. So for the color one, 123 degrees, change it by 30 degrees. Let's change it by 90 degrees. So this is the third one here. Save it, and then that should apply the change. Oh, didn't save the right one. There we go. And there we are. So the color has now been changed. You want to lighten, you want to darken a color, saturate it, desaturate it. Convert it to grayscale. So this 6F, 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 this is the grayscale version of color 2. So this color over here is a purple and then 6F6F, that's a dark gray. So this is the grayscale version of that purple color. Complement, something that's opposite on the color wheel. So that's this one right here, or sorry, this one right here. This is the complement to the color. 
The green is opposite that purple on the color wheel. Invert. That's the RGBA here. So we're inverting the color. And the final thing here, content, I'm writing out all those different values. Now, that's the color functions up here. All these different functions, very useful depending on what it is that you're trying to do. Uh, you can find the mix and match of these things that you want to use. Um, you want to make a color scheme. It's very easy to take one color and then use these to say, lighten the color by 90 degrees, darken it by 30 degrees. Okay, I've got three colors that have the same hue but just have different lightness. So you can see how you could quickly come up with a color scheme through SAS. Numerical functions. Percentage. You pass in a number, you want to get that back as a percent. It'll do that. You want to round a number off or round it up, round it down. Uh, pass in a list of numbers to find the minimum value or the maximum value in that list. Uh, generate a random number between 0 and 1, not including 1. So 0 to 0 0.999999. Or you can optionally provide a limit. So between 0 and 100. So you could put 100 and you would get 0 to 99.999999. And there's other functions as well. There's ones with lists, there's ones with strings, there's ones with maps. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video for SAS on lists and maps, and I'll talk about some of those functions in that video. But here you have a whole whack of built-in functions that you can use in SAS to create all kinds of things and make your life a lot easier uh, in writing your CSS. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.